Hello, beautiful people. How are you today? It's uh, me, the Chaos. Just um, giving you an update on what's been going on since my last video. First, I'd like to say um, most of all, thank you to everyone that takes the time to watch, whether you like it or not. Um, just thank you for your time and thank you for your support. And honestly, just thank you for your knowing because that's why I do what I do to let people know what's going on in another person's life. This particular video is about what's going on in my life and Laurel Aston's life. Laurel Aston is a ex CIA child trafficking victim from the age of two years old. She is a woman who I went to New York to meet, a woman who I ended up living with in Texas, going to Mexico with to try to help her get away from the CIA. Um, she is a targeted individual because the CIA spent millions of dollars training this woman as an assassin from the age of two years old. This, the U.S. military has gone on record stating that she is classified as their property. They bought and purchased her at the age of two. They went on record stating this in the Supreme Court in the Bronx, New York, when Laurel Aston um, took her case to the Supreme Court in New York when they tried to kill her several times. She has been destabilized. She has had her body literally cut up, maimed, her breasts cut up. Stabbed in the back. She's been shot in the head. She has all the marks on her body to prove this. I've seen them, people. I went to New York and helped this woman get out of a house that they had put two CIA handlers in the house to, to kill her. If you follow her story, it dates back to when I started the first videos with her and her talking about her story in New York. And it starts out by her really literally asking for help. And no one would help this woman. One of the things that I've come to the conclusion with living in Mexico, and now I'm back in the United States because of what just happened to me in Laurel Aston, the police broke into our house Stole everything that we had. All, all my paperwork's gone. Everything. I'm, I'm down to zero. I'm broke. Laurel Aston is still stuck in Mexico. So I, I want you to understand the conclusion that I've come to after seeing all this again. And after me as a person living on the streets and being homeless several times in my life and seeing how people are to homeless people and how they just don't care and especially being an Afro-American male. I want you to understand that I just came to the conclusion that people really just don't care. I mean, everyone's protesting about the situation, what's been happening with black people, but honestly, these protests that are going on right now should have happened 10 years ago. The cops, they've been killing us for a very long time. I don't even want to get into my stories about how many times the cops have brutalized me and beat me. I have videos about it on my YouTube and people say, oh man, this guy's lost his mind and this and this and this. You really don't understand what it means and, and how it feels to have a cop 
take all your property, go through your stuff, and steal and take whatever he wants. And then throw you in a place where they abuse you. This is what Laurel Aston and I just went through in Mexico. Laurel Aston was exposed to people watching her shower, janitors. She had to walk through shit with an infected foot. She's afraid that she has caught something um, viral. Um, I don't know what else to do other than to make a video and to talk about it. Um, me, myself, I can't work. I have a bad back, a, a very bad spinal injury. So my life and the things that I can do are very, very, very limited. And honestly, I never talked about this, but, you know, one day as I get older, they wanted to give me surgery and put me on steroids. And I told them, no way. So, um, this is just an ongoing back problem with me that I uh, have alternative medicine to, uh, Use, but even that costs money. So, me living the way I do and being who I am, um, I don't have much, and everything that I did have, I risked everything trying to help this woman that no one would help. That the CIA, you know, they just want her dead. Now she is in Mexico. Right now, um, in a mission, she's working every day in the mission um, for her bed and for her one meal a day. And she's also teaching English and she's not getting paid. This is just to support her living in one meal a day in Mexico. So I want you to understand what has happened to her, exactly what has happened. So if you know, um, me and her went to Cancun, Mexico. We had a lawyer, Laurel Aston, um, wanted to get a lawyer to help her with her situation, with her papers, with her identity, and lawyers cost money. So Laurel Aston has been working all her life and to rather than to keep tons of money around people, you know, ladies, the best thing to do is buy jewelry because you can keep it on you and it's easy to keep up with rather than money, the large sums of money that you have to keep counting and stuff like that. So she had over a hundred grand in jewelry. That is seven years of hard work. This woman working like a slave and the police did nothing to this lawyer that came along and took it from her. Cesar Augusta. <clears throat> so I want you to understand that I did my best to help this woman. And... The lawyer, Cesar Augusta, was friends with the municipal police. The municipal police are dirty. According to the Cancun military, because it's on the water, it has the Navy, 90% of the police is run by the cartel. So Caesar Augusta knew the head of the municipal police. So he was cartel. So he was connected to the Zetas, which the Zetas are connected to the Bushes and the Clintons, which Laurel Aston has testified against the Clintons and the Bushes 
because they raped her as a child because they're pedophiles and they sponsor child sex camps that the CIA sponsored to get their child assassins. I have another little thing that I did on this channel called Assassin, which I am a bit, uh, a bit explicit and raw and just kind of out there, but it is just how I feel about human trafficking. Because uh, I want you to know my personal experience. I lost my fiance in Romania um, to the cartel. That's what they do to women. They don't care about women. Women like Laurel Aston, like I said, they put a bullet. To, they put a bullet in this woman's head. Tried to kill her, and she's still going. So, I just, I honestly wanted to thank you for your time. Uh, I'm going to continue to talk about what happened to me and her. So, after the Caesar Augusta, the lawyer, um, arranged for the police to kick in our house door. They came in with shotguns, machine guns, bulletproof vests, put me on my stomach, put me in handcuffs, went through everything of mine. Caesar Augusta told them I was trafficking a little girl. So when they came in and saw it was just Laurel Aston, they didn't really do anything to her. They didn't put her in handcuffs or nothing. They just took both of us. Then I and M um, ran my name and found out that when I first got to the country, I had asked them for asylum for Laurel Aston and me and told them my situation, gave them my paperwork. Told them everything about me and what I do. And it just, it, I don't know, it was just a big mess. What happened was my passport ended up getting stolen by the cops. They ended up saying I was there illegally, which I wasn't. It was just a clean washout. Like how many times Laurel Aston says it was a setup, you know, how, she's always saying it was a setup and in all the videos, you know, and for all you people out there saying, oh, she's always, what is this? Is this a setup? I just got through it, people. As many times as that woman's been on record on, on our videos talking about this, I just went through it. Cops took all my paperwork, all her paperwork, my passport, my wallet, everything. I flew back deported with a suitcase and a backpack full of stuff. That's out of everything that I own. Mm. This is after Caesar Augusta steals a hundred grand from Laurel Aston, which she's still in Mexico stuck there as a refugee. She's been declared a refugee after two months of the U.S. State Department running her fingerprints and not being able to find any birth certificate for her in existence and then they claim that she's a refugee without a country to claim her so now she's waiting on Mexican authorities to grant her her first identity to actually document her to say she does exist for the first time she'll be able to work 
and really get paid instead of working like a dog under the table and never advancing, never excelling, always taking shit, having CIA fuckheads come in and do whatever they want to you because she's a doctor of Chinese medicine and a massage therapist. While they've done millions and millions and million dollar movies about this woman's life and what she did as a child. And now, since, you know, she got to the time when, okay, she's too old now, we can't do anything with her. We've already used her and raped her and tried to get babies out of her. And all this stuff, they tried to put a bullet in her. And so that's what they do, people. Literally, I want you to understand the human trafficking cartel. They don't care about women or kids. The police are involved. This wouldn't be able to exist without the cooperation of the police. If people want to protest, they need to protest about that because they don't care what color you are. If it's a black girl, a white girl, a Chinese girl, an Asian girl, whoever these people want to fuck, they have a code and they make a phone call and they fuck. So you're telling me, yeah, just like, uh, you know, the terrorist attack of 9-11, we were attacked by airplanes, just hijacked by Muslim terrorists, you know, the U.S., the biggest security network in the world, you know, the CIA, NSA, all of them were just, you know, belly up FBI, just dumb as fuck at 9-11. And now they're dumb as fuck to this network of human trafficking that is just rampant around the world, including the U.S., which they're all involved in, the Bushes, Clintons. If you know about Boys Town, research it on the internet. Type in Boys Town, USA, Clintons, Bushes. Type in Clinton, Bush, Mina, Cartel, and you too. Type it in the internet. Watch how many links come up. That is heroin, cocaine, and human trafficking cartel, people. So when Laurel Aston talks about setup, I want you to understand it, it was a clean, clean, clean washout. And now she's in America in a mission with nuns in a country that's run by the cartel. So, this is what's going on. Um, thank God I have a friend to stay with because I would be, like, left out with nothing. Um, I, I talked to Laurel Aston. She's on Facebook. She still doesn't have anything to say. She's made no post about all the stuff that I'm talking about right now. She's still getting the same old bullshit from all of these shills that were just put there to just piss her off and try to destabilize her and make her feel bad. So I want you to understand that I'm waiting to see what happens with her. So... I can go be back by her side because technically, you know, she's my wife um, because we were living together in Texas for six months. So that can also help her out with her um, status of immigration. But again, they stole all the papers. They stole all my receipts, all my proof. Everything of where I've lived, they cleaned me out. So in order for me to get receipts and all that stuff, I have to go back and call these people. And it's just going to be a big mess. But anyway, 
this is what they did. So I want people to understand what's like going on with Laurel. She is very depressed. She's very strong. I talked to her today. She said she was getting sick. She said everybody at the convent's getting sick. So I guess there's something going around. I don't know. But this is what she told me. She's staying strong. She's very depressed. It's very hard on her. Um, this is very hard on me. But it's harder on her. She didn't deserve this. She was born and taken as a two-year-old child. And she hasn't been given anything. Everything that they just steal from her. So, I want to thank you for your time. Um, I really wanted people to get the clear picture of what's going on with Laurel Aston, the uncut version, the people can talk shit version. You know me. I really don't give a shit what people think. I really honestly do this for the real people out there that are actually going through it that really give a shit that just, you know, don't live that day to day and freak out about a sports game when all that money that they spend on sports and all that bullshit should be going to help people because they don't want to hear things like this. They don't want to hear things like human trafficking and human slavery and the, that the CIA wouldn't exist without human trafficking. Human trafficking is exactly how they get their assets and their operatives. Mind control, sex slavery is how to get their operatives. You have to have an operative that if you need an operative to sleep with somebody to get information, you need an operative that's going to sleep with somebody to get information. That's sex slavery, that's mind control. That's a given with every CIA operative, people. That's a given. Sex, no problem. Don't even question it. People really don't want to hear it and they don't want to understand it like that, but it is exactly, simply, point blank, just like that. So I want you to understand what they've done to me. And yes, you know, um, they're still targeting me with microwave weapons every night. But of course they would, me being back in the United States and me doing what I just did, trying to help one of their own military that they've thrown to the gutter, that they've made millions of, and billions of dollars off of her and spin countless amounts of, of funds still trying to gang stalk her and mess with her every day and me too they just can't get enough they just can never say oh we're sorry we were wrong oh we know we did this we know she did this for us. We know she went through this and this and this. And if she came back to us and then she got killed on some operation, we give her a star on the wall. She still never existed. We're talking about the CIA people. Let's be honest. I'm just explaining it to you. So you can really understand it and get how twisted they are and how they hide their human trafficking roots and exactly how they do it. And when you mold it with human trafficking and what they do to women and children, you can really see there's not much of a difference when it comes to getting rid of their operatives. Because... If you're with the CIA and if you're with the military right now, if you're with old military and you got cancer, they gave it to you. 
Dead men tell no tales. Everybody got cancer. America is 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 all of a sudden cancer farm, world cancer farm right now. Because of the CIA and the Nazis and Operation Paperclip and microwave weapons and GMO. So I, I want you to understand what Laurel Aston has been trying to tell you and explain to you in all of her videos. And I want to thank you for all you people watching. We're up to like, some of them are up to like 5,000. Thank you, people. Thank you for your time. And I want you to understand what is happening is very real. I don't I don't lie. When I was on the streets homeless, I was still managed to, you know, make videos and then put them online later. But it's like for me, it's like keeping track and keeping fresh of what's going on and keeping things on point and staying focused on what we were doing so they don't get away with what they were doing. I know this is only talking about it, but talking about it and putting it out there is talking about it and putting it out there. And it's better than sitting back and taking it. Like Laurel Aston has done so much by herself because she has nobody, people. She has no family. She has no one out there gunning for her but me. She has a CIA really gunning for her because the CIA wants her to shut her mouth. They want her to shut her mouth because they took her at the age of two, started molesting her, then raped her. At an at a older, like, I think nine, she said. Maybe younger. This is what they did to her. U.S. military CIA. She knows too many names, too many people. It's too accurate. And what we went through and what she's been through, what they put her through. They had her walking through shit in Mexico jail when those toilets fucking overflowed in her cell. She caught an infection in her foot. She is sick. But she can't get, she can't catch a fucking dime now. You know, they took everything from her. The CIA took her at the age of two and now this woman wants some kind of ramification for what she's been through. They put a bullet in her head. Hey CIA, how much do you pay a person when you, when you, when you, you know, tell, pay one of your assets to kill them and your asset doesn't kill them? How much do you pay for that? I mean, how much do you pay for getting a bullet put through your head and microwave weaponry and all the stuff to, that they've done to me, her, and so many innocent Americans? How much do you pay once this comes out and say a lawsuit happens? How much do you get for somebody literally trying to kill you? Every day. And trying to make it look natural. How much do you get for that, huh? And then having people talk about it and having people t tell you that you're crazy and having to continue to do it because they have it down to a science. They run Hollywood. They run Scientology. Why do you think they call it Scientology? They have this evil shit down to a science. So I want you to understand what Laurel Aston is up against and what they did to her, what they're doing to me, what they do to all of us. GMO, that's their stuff. GMO, Monsanto is protected by the CIA. Blackwater, what do you think that is? Those are assassins. 
Monsanto's is poisoning you with your food in America right now because they make 90% of the food is GMO. And that shit is poison. And Blackwater protects Monsanto's. Who do you think Blackwater gets their training from? Navy SEALs, CIA, Marines. Those are assassins. So the people that are sitting there poisoning us every day with our food, and they know they designed it to kill us. These Nazis designed it to kill us. So they'll protect that. But then when people talk about it, say, hey, I don't want to eat this stuff, or hey, can you stop trying to kill me? Can you stop blasting me with microwave weapons? Can you quit blasting me with silent sound weapons? Can you quit treating me like your guinea pig, Nazis? Can you quit treating America like your guinea pig, Nazis, and your experimentation fucking playground? Since you've gotten here, you've done this. Enough's enough. And, the, and that's it. No one will say it like that. Let me say it again. Hey, Nazis from Operation Paperclip that have infiltrated American bases and made all of this ritualistic, satanic kidnapping and fucking kids and turning them into mind control assassins. Can you get the fuck out of our backyard? Because people are protesting about cops, but they don't want to see the bigger picture of how sadistic it really is. And when it comes down to food and GMO and Monsanto, these motherfuckers try to kill you every day with every bite you eat. They turn your fork into a weapon. Do you realize this? I mean, literally... With GMO, they turn your fork into a weapon because they give you cancer. GMO gives you cancer. GMO gives you tumors. This is why France is suing GMO, Monsanto's. This is why France and Brazil are suing Monsanto's for millions of dollars. Because their scientists have done tests on rats. This is why China burned Monsanto's crops. So India burned Monsanto's crops. But America is so under control by the CIA and these Nazis because we're their guinea pigs. They don't want you to say nothing. They turn your fork into a weapon and they want you to shut the fuck up. And then when other scientists find out exactly how toxic it really is for people, this shit's killing you. They protest, but you don't see anything about it in, in, in American TV because these Nazis got you on lockdown. They turned the United States into a, a, a police state, a prison. This is why I take the time to do these things and put my life on the line for people like Laurel Aston, because she never asked to be taken at the age of two and to be raped. She never asked for all this stuff to happen to her and to be gang stalked and, and to have no money and to have nobody to help her. And to have all these assholes on the internet saying, well, if this happened, why is this? Well, if the CIA is trying to kill you, why aren't you dead? Because they've already put a bullet in her head and she went to the Supreme Court and testified about them doing it. So now all they can do is soft kill. Because the ramifications of this woman dying at the hands of an assassin or dying in any other way to look unnatural will make it look like they did it. And it'll come back to them because there will be proof again that they killed their own people. They won't even acknowledge her existence. They don't acknowledge the existence of these women. These women are used to fuck, kill, and to follow orders, and that's it. They don't exist. They train these kids from the age of 
two years old and Laurel Aston talks about how horrific the training is and what these Nazis have done to the American military. So they have infiltrated us and made us the most unsafe nation in the world and now people are protesting because these cops have been turned into the military and these cops are psycho killers. A lot of these cops protect this stuff of this human trafficking and these women for the cartel. Who is the cartel? The Bushes, the Skull and Bones, the Windsors, the Rothschilds, the Zetas. They're all one big happy family importing and exporting little boys and little girls and bringing them up through their ranks, trading them around and making them do, you know, their stuff which is drug dealing and making hits on people and taking over drug territory. That's it. And the CIA doesn't want people to know this. They thrive themselves on secrecy. NSA too. They're all guilty of it. And these are children taken and grown into assassins. Is this right? And then when one of them gets away, they try to kill him and silence him. And then that doesn't work. And then she goes to Mexico trying to get the fuck away from him. And then they come and clean up, clean us out, the person that's trying to help her. And now we're down to zero. And now here we are. So here we are face to face talking how things should really be. And honestly, this is how it is. I don't need to lie. And for me, I'm the only person standing up for any asset out there, or any military dumbass out there that hasn't figured out that you're just expendable. They don't give a fuck. And for the military officers out there sitting with a half a leg or an arm or got hit by a bullet or taken down, I don't need to tell you. They don't give a fuck about you. But for the ones that have made millions and millions of dollars that are worth millions of dollars, they should be treated as such. And especially if they've been trafficked at the age of two and the horrific rape stories that Laurel Aston has gone to the Supreme Court and talked about, talked about on my videos with her, raped by the Clintons, raped by the Bushes, passed around by all of them, Windsors, all of them, Hollywood, how the CIA run Hollywood, how all the Hollywood actors are all in on it, how they all get taken in. So they got this down to a science, people, and people don't really don't want to hear it. They don't want to understand that Brad Pitt is a, is a fucking mind control assassin. What? Why is that so hard for you to understand? It's so hard for you to understand because you're brainwashed. You're brainwashed by looking at Brad Pitt and his movies thinking that you know that guy. But the fact of the matter is the best assassin is someone that can lie to you to your face or <gasps> on a full screen with lots of makeup and lighting and is a professional liar and gets paid for it. And then gets, fly, gets to fly all around the world while saying I'm shooting a movie while really doing hits for the CIA and God knows whatever else and then comes back and shoots a few little fucking dumb scenes of a script that he's memorized already because he's a CIA agent and there you go now you know Hollywood and how they operate all of them it's the perfect fucking cover so you're telling me that the United States has all this going on, but, you know, everything is in the gutter right now. And our government and 
everything that they've done and brought over all these Nazis with Operation Paperclip and with the CIA and all this shit that they've done with these Nazis has helped America. Everything that they've allowed these Nazis to do to Americans with GMO and all the food and everything else, you're telling me the government is for us? I mean, look at what they've done to our, 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 our soldiers. Look at what they've done to one of their own soldiers, Laura Aston. She's an ex-operative. They ain't going to say, oh yeah, we did that. Everything that she's talking about is true. They're not going to say that. They're going to do everything in their power to deny it. No accountability. But the second she says, okay, I'll come back, they'll take her back. And probably think of some way to, you know, soft kill her. And then they'll even give Operatives like her that put her, put them through so much hell and took out so many of their people and did what she did to expose them. They don't give people like that stars because they cause too many problems for them. So anyway, thanks for your time. Stay blessed. Uh, I'm going to try to keep doing the videos. Assassin Radio is on hold for now. Even though it was just so much fun. <laughs> but anyway, um, I'll try to keep everyone updated about everything. Trying to stay in the best of spirits. Stay blessed. Thank you for your time. Spread the word. And please keep Laurel Aston in your prayers. And to the CIA, NSA, Nazi fuckers. When are you going to leave her alone? She's been through enough. Enough is enough. Okay, psychopaths? Because you don't know when to stop. You don't stop until someone's dead. And it's apparently clear that it's not going to be her. Stay blessed. Peace. Hello, beautiful people. How are you today? It's uh, me, the chaos. Just um, giving you an update on what's been going on since my last video. First, I'd like to say, um, most of all, thank you to everyone that takes the time to watch, whether you like it or not. Um, just thank you for your time. Thank you for your support. And honestly, just thank you for your knowing because that's why I do what I do to let people know what's going on in another person's life. This particular video is about what's going on in my life and Laurel Aston's life. Laurel Aston is a ex CIA child trafficking victim from the age of two years old. She is a woman who I went to New York. Her breasts cut up, stabbed in the back. She's been shot in the head. She has all the marks on her body to prove this. I've seen them, people. I went to New York and helped this woman get out of a house that they had put two CIA handlers in the house to to kill her. If you follow her story, it dates back to when I started the first videos with her and her talking about her story in New York. And it starts out by her really literally asking for help. And no one would help this woman. One of the things that I've come to the conclusion with living in Mexico and now I'm back in the United States because of what just happened to me in Laurel Aston, the police broke into our house, stole everything that we had, all, all my paperwork's gone, everything, I'm, I'm down to zero, I'm broke. 
Laurel Aston is still stuck in Mexico. So I, I want you to understand the conclusion that I've come to after seeing all this again. And after me as a person living on the streets and being homeless several times in my life and seeing how people are to homeless people and how they just don't care. And especially being an Afro-American male. I want you to understand that I just came to the conclusion that people really just don't care. I mean, everyone's protesting about the situation, what's been happening with black people. But honestly, these protests that are going on right now should have happened 10 years ago. The cops, they've been killing us for a very long time. I don't even want to get into my stories about how many times the cops have brutalized me and beat me. I have videos about it on my YouTube to meet a woman who I ended up living with in Texas, going to Mexico with to try to help her get away from the CIA. Um, she is a targeted individual. Because the CIA spent millions of dollars training this woman as an assassin from the age of two years old. This, the U.S. military has gone on record stating that she is classified as their property. They bought and purchased her at the age of two. They went on record stating this in the Supreme Court in the Bronx, New York, when Laurel Aston um, took her case to the Supreme Court in New York when they tried to kill her several times. She has been destabilized. She has had her body literally cut up, maimed. And people say, oh, man, this guy's lost his mind and this and this and this. You really don't understand what it means and, and how it feels to have a cop take all your property, go through your stuff, and steal and take whatever he wants. And then throw you in a place where they abuse you. This is what Laurel Aston and I just went through in Mexico. Laurel Aston was exposed to people watching her shower, janitors. She had to walk through shit with an infected foot. She's afraid that she has caught something um, viral. Um, I don't know what else to do other than to make a video and to talk about it. Um, me, myself, I can't work. 